Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Manila, and I want to provide you another video on the topic of repentance of sins. Now, one reason why I think some people are confused on this topic is because of the fact they use personal experience to trump what the Bible teaches. What do I mean by that? Well, for me personally, when I got saved, I was sorry for my sins. I felt really bad, and I heard the gospel. I believed on Jesus Christ. I got saved, I was born into God's family, and I really did feel like, man, I'm, I'm you know, very, very fortunate that God would forgive me because you know, I do not deserve to be forgiven. Now, here's the thing about this, though. Even though that I was personally sorry for my sins when I got saved, that does not mean it's the same experience with everyone. See, God's requirement is whosoever believeth. And look, you know, people could have different experiences when they get saved. Some people, when they get saved, they cry, they shed a tear. I didn't shed any tears. Does that mean that I didn't get saved because I didn't shed any tears? No, I mean, that would be ridiculous, right? Because God doesn't tell you you have to shed any tears. He also doesn't tell you you have to be sorry for your sins. And just because a lot of you out there might have the experience that when you got saved, you felt really bad, you felt really sorry, it doesn't make it a requirement. And what we can't do is look at our personal experience and use that to trump the Bible. Look, you know, there's, there's, there's people out there that get saved and they start coming to church and get baptized immediately. That wasn't me though. I didn't start going to church immediately. That I didn't get baptized immediately. Does that mean I wasn't saved? But then there's other people that you know I could look at, and you know some people could look down at someone like me that didn't get baptized immediately and didn't go to church immediately. But I could look at other people and say, well, you know what? When I got saved, I started to make some changes in the music I listened to in the movies, and you know there started to be a purge that was happening in my lifestyle. And so if somebody doesn't have that purge that happens in their lifestyle, they must not have believed on Jesus Christ. Well, that would be ridiculous because that's not a requirement listed in the Bible. And so what we got to be very careful about with any topic is we do not use our own personal experience to trump what the Bible says because our personal experiences can be very misleading and they can give you a false sense of reality because the Bible never says it's a requirement that you repent of your sins or you're sorry for your sins or you make a change in your life. That's great that you made changes in your life when you got saved. That does not mean it's a requirement. The Bible's very clear, whosoever believeth in him. Thank you, and God bless.